Hello, how much does it cost to charge your EV at night? Well, let's take a detailed look. I'm often saying that it's between a tenth and a fifth the price of petrol or diesel. But I thought today we'd have a look at some detailed figures because the prices are forever changing. Uh, the prices at superchargers, uh, charging at night, there are some sort of variants. Uh, and also the price of petrol. My Tesla is two years old, done 20,000 miles, and I've been averaging 240 kilowatts a uh, mile, which gives me a range on the 50 kilowatt battery of about 208 miles. So if I charge at the Octopus Energy nighttime rate, it would cost to fully charge it, not that I ever did, but hypothetically from zero to 100%, that would cost me £3.75 or 1.8p a mile. Hello my friends, my name is Nigel. Everyone's very welcome. Thank you for the new subscribers. I'm only about a dozen or so away from a thousand subscribers. So if you could possibly subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Uh, all very welcome. And I'm looking forward to getting the 15p a week from YouTube. That would be brilliant. And uh, it's taken over two years and uh, I'm probably a little bit lazy. I probably should do a few more videos. I only do about one a week and a few shorts. But thanks very much. All very welcome. So let's look at some of the details. A gallon of diesel in the UK costs £7.27. Now you will never see that price on any uh, petrol station because they show it in litres. But of course, no one has ever worked out the cost of a, a, a litre, what miles per litre you do it in gallons. So it's kind of smoke and mirrors, isn't it? Let's not really tell people how much it costs because they probably wouldn't buy so much. But of course, you know how much it costs to fill your car and when it used to be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and it keeps going up. So there you go. It costs around £7.27 pounds per gallon and it may be a bit cheaper in, certainly on uh, in some supermarkets and dearer certainly dearer on the motorways quite a bit dearer so my audi a3 the car i had before the tesla and that had a stop start function on brilliant i don't know why all cars don't have that function when you stop the engine turns off and uh, so it's very efficient I used to I used to think it would get 50 55 but I never did and I was quite light on the pedal it used to average 45 miles per gallon and at the price of a gallon of petrol that works out at 16p a mile so charging at home works out at one eighth the price that's charging at night Tesla superchargers work out between 50 and 55 percent the cost of diesel or petrol so there you are, most recent figures, one-eighth of the price of charging at home. That is a remarkable difference. So let's take a look at some of the other companies because I have been using, up until recently, uh, Octopus Energy and I find them very good. And I was looking also at their satisfaction rates. They do lead the field, probably because they've got a really good website and you can find information. You don't have to don't really need to go on the phone you can do most things whether if you're moving or if you want to change uh, the tariff you're on uh, or leave a message I have found them to be pretty good but I'm told Scottish Power are also very good so let's look at some of the rates now N Power and Eon charge 9.5p between midnight and 7am British Gas 8.95p we're not dumb why don't they just call it 9p per kilowatt hour between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. Now EDF, five hours of off-peak electricity is 8p kilowatt every night. And Scottish Power, I'm just looking at my list here, charge you 8.25p a kilowatt hour between midnight and 5 a.m. Uh, and they say that 100% green energy and same as uh, the octopus energy and a lot of the companies now are saying it is green energy. Now, the Octopus is 11.30 to 5.30. There is, is 7.5p a kilowatt hour, the price I've given you at one eighth the cost of diesel. Now, they used to be 12.30 to 4, so they've extended their time now to six hours. Now, 
If you don't have a home charge, if you just sort of plug in, you get round about 10 miles of charge into your car per hour. So if it's only available, these rates at sort of four hours, then you're only going to get 40 miles. Now you can get 60 miles. But if you're doing hundreds of miles a day, um, you may need a home charger, which is going to cost you around about seven, eight, nine hundred pounds. And uh, that will give you a much better charge rate in your car. And it's really up to you whether or not you feel you need this, depending on how many miles you're going to do. But I'm pretty certain that you would soon save that price. Uh, the alternative is charging at the sort of the daily rate at 30p plus. Uh, so I'm sure it's going to save you a lot of money by getting a home charger. I don't need one. Uh, it's uh, fine for me. There's also other, a few other companies because uh, Shell Energy, SO Energy, Bulb, Over Energy uh, that I haven't looked at. Uh, so there you are. That's the price. Uh, people often say on, on messages, uh, well, actually not often, but they do say from time to time, I don't believe your prices. But the people with EVs who are doing, they know it and they just say, yeah, um, people don't believe it. It's, it's a great price. The problem is, of course, and I will accept it, this is the, the cost of uh, buying an EV is more expensive. Although it's coming down, you can get a lot of very good used EVs, uh, Teslas for under £20,000. You can even get uh, some Model S's, six or seven years old, with free supercharging. Go anywhere in UK, Europe, anywhere in the world and get free supercharging. That's fantastic because when they sold those cars originally, they were probably a £50,000 car and they charge £80,000 or dollars, mostly dollars, yes, in the US. So uh, they're still available now. Uh, when Tesla take one of these cars back in, if it's uh, if it's part exchange, they, they take the free supercharging off. But there are still some out there. And of course, there are many EVs. You can get them from four or five thousand. Uh, if you don't want to be traveling the entire length, the breadth of the country. That's why the Tesla Model 3 is so good for um, going from Cornwall to Scotland or anywhere or any bigger distances, because there's always going to be a Tesla supercharger and it shows you exactly where you have to go. It's very, very simple and um, I do enjoy it. The next best to Tesla, I would say, because they average around about 50p a kilowatt hour. Oh, and did I mention that the cost of charging a Tesla at a supercharger is between 50 and 60 percent of the price of petrol. I've done the numbers many times. If you go to Shell, BP and others, you'll be paying almost the same as, as fuel. It will be slightly less unless you're driving uh, very inefficient and one of those horrible, ugly SUVs. Then you might be paying as much as petrol and diesel, but there's no excuse for those greedy oil companies to be charging the price they do and the reason they're doing it is to put you off buying an electric vehicle it's quite amazing really because the power of shell and bp what would it cost them with their millions and billions of profits to put in let's say in the uk 100 charging stations with let's say 18 20 fast chargers for them it would cost nothing and yet that could almost dominate after tesla uh, the market, good server doing a great job. Their prices used to be very similar to Tesla. And I'd often try them out because I'd think to myself, well, I'm not always going to have a Tesla. Let's give them a go. And a two or three P difference. So when I went into the Tesla supercharger and I saw grid so I'd give them a try because it's contactless and it's very simple. Now the prices are much dearer, so I don't, which is a shame. But they are the next best thing to Tesla and it's contactless. It's very easy to use. If you haven't got a Tesla, you know you can go anywhere in the country and use GridServe. I actually often use the one at um, John O'Groats because the most northerly Tesla supercharger is at Inverness. Though they do have a few destination charges in the Orkney Isles. But uh, there you go. Thank you very much for getting this far and hope you can like and subscribe. Um, I'm very, very close to a thousand. So, you know, just, just make an old man happy. That would be great. And uh, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to use your reusable muck wherever you go. You get discounts in many places now and it makes the cost of uh, your drink a lot cheaper. 
and, uh, and the trouble with using the paper cups that they give you and the plastic lids. The plastic lids are recycled but not the cups because there's a very thin layer of plastic and they can't be recycled so they just go into the landfill and it's such a waste. But anyway, thanks for your time and patience. See you next time. Drive safely. Bye for now.